My team was comprised of myself, Brenda Bushhouse, Judith Danovich, Ariel Ziegelman, and Tammy Kwan. And it took us a while to kind of figure out what we wanted to focus on, but eventually we coalesced around the idea of a lot of the educational apps that are available are not that high quality. They don't actually promote engaged and meaningful learning experiences. So we know that children are using screens quite often. You know, we've all seen parents hand off their phone to their child, you know, while they're waiting in an office somewhere, or children, you know, have their own iPad sometimes. Research shows that young children are spending two and a half hours a day on screens. And this is a problem, depending on what it is they're doing with those screens. Are they learning anything? And so that we found in the research that the quality of games geared for preschool age are pitifully poor. And yet parents have, you know, with them almost all the time, this potentially very powerful device. You know, once we started looking at what are almost like standard features on any uh, smartphone, we realized how many of them really lent themselves to learning experiences. And each of us, you know, we're all parents. And I think each of us had already had experience with using some of these features on a phone um, in creative ways with our kids. I don't think we would have arrived where we arrived if it wasn't for Tammy. Tammy is a new mom and as a new mom, raising a child in this digital age, she was really able to say like, hey, sometimes I just have to hand my kid my phone because it solves a lot of problems. And yeah, there's guilt associated with that. But if I knew things that I could bring to the table like hey like let's look at a picture of when we were on our last vacation and let's talk about this you know those are a lot of healthy screen time interactions that we hope to bring to this new generation of parents we know from the science of learning that children learn best when engaging in socially interactive experiences. We are developing a list of ideas for parents using the apps that are already built into their phones. And so, for example, looking at how can you use the stopwatch app in a way that would be productive. Say you're sitting somewhere, you could talk to your child about you know, how many seconds are in a minute, how many minutes are in an hour. Also had a lot of fun thinking about the um, the maps feature and how parents and kids could use that to like find a place that's meaningful to parent or child. Or maybe you say, where's grandma's house? And you put in grandma's house and how far is it to grandma's house? And how might we get there if we walked, if we drove, if we use public transportation? You know, so you're asking them to think about distance, to think about time. Or even like crazy things like, okay, which way do you think we're facing? Like open the compass app and like, oh, this is north and the sun is over here because it's this time of day. There's just so much you can do with your phone. And the idea is, is that we have prompts for parents or caregivers, or it doesn't have to be your parent, um, an adult figure that they can kind of follow through to kind of start some conversations and start activities. The next step was like, how do we get this message out to parents? And so we we consulted some experts on social media and we gave a lot of thought to where do parents go? Where do they get information about learning? And we eventually came up with the idea of creating an infographic of our idea. The hope is, is that like we're able to get enough traction from TikTok and from the pamphlet that, you know, it is something that we're able to change in everyday life. I think technology has a lot of potential for children's learning and that if we could capture it, we could really see some benefits for, for young kids.